Hello, you two. Hi. This is, this is fantastic. When my producers told me about y'all, we're like all so impressed by <laughs> everything. You. So, Antoine, tell us uh, the story. Tell us how it all started. First of all, thank you for having us. This is so great. We appreciate this opportunity to share our story. Yeah, this is amazing. Like, I watch you all the time, Ellen. Like, when my grandma, she would do anything to be here, to actually be here with you. Like, thank Aww. you so much. Thanks so yes. much. Well, thanks for being here. Yes. Thank you. So, um, yes, JJ and I, we started an organization called Photo Patch Foundation. And what it does is it helps kids who have a mom or dad in prison stay connected. So kids can use our system to send letters and photos to their moms or dad in prison. We actually started this out of necessity because when I was about 20 years old and JJ was just three, I went to prison um, and it was very devastating. We're originally from Buffalo, New York. A lot of poverty we had to go through and fight through. And JJ, her mom, Gina, we weren't together at the time, but we still had a, a mutual agreement to do the best that we could to help JJ become a successful young lady. Unfortunately, even though I tried to go to college, I worked at warehouses, um, tried different jobs, it didn't work out. The streets got the best of me and I ended up going to prison for eight years. For what reason? Uh, criminal possession of a weapon. So you had a weapon on you. You weren't committing a crime, but you had a weapon on you and you went to jail for how long? About seven years, but I was sentenced to eight years. Wow, okay. So you find yourself in prison and like, and you're three years old. Yes. You were trying to write letters. You were yes. trying to help her with homework even all through that yes. time, yes. right? Yes. yes, yes. Yeah, I was super inspired by JJ's letters. Um, as you can imagine, I was, I was broken. I felt like, you know what, I wanted to be redeemed in my family's eyes, especially my young daughter. So she would send me these letters and photos, send her homework, and we would communicate as much as possible, but JJ needed the help of an adult to send letters, to get pictures printed, to get stamps. So um, I got really motivated while in prison and said, you know what, I want to do something different. I want to build something that makes it more convenient for families to stay connected. Right, so, so you taught yourself how to code. Yes, yes. I mean, crazy. Yes. So I, I, it's so foreign to me, I don't understand it at all. <laughs> all right, so you teach yourself to code while you're in prison, and you, you built, then, then you, when you got out of prison, you learned how to code. Yes, so when he came home from prison, he was always on his computer, always doing this cool looking thing, and I wanted to build a bond with him. I wanted to do whatever he was doing. So I'm like, hey, dad, maybe you can teach me this, and you know, I can learn it as well. So he taught me and it was just a great bonding moment. But as my skills got more and more better, I realized, hey, we like we need an app for this. We need an app for Photo Patch because I knew how much more convenient it will be. Kids nowadays are using phones more and more. So I built the app when I was 12. We launched it all for free, easy to use. We even got a testimonial once from a five-year-old kid. He used the text to speech to use it. And he thanked us for how well he was able to use it to communicate with his parents. And how many families, it's amazing, how many families have you connected now? Well, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, yes, so we launched Photo Patch Foundation in 2015. In our first year, we helped 2,500 families get connected. Once JJ built the app, it skyrocketed. It's, yes, but then to date, we've helped about 70,000 of families stay connected, and we sent over a million photos to prisons around the nation. Wow. Um, so you, and you have a school where you're helping teachers teach uh, students how to code. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're actually teachers. So tech changed our lives so much, learning how to code and knowing how to build websites and apps, such a powerful skill. So JJ and I started our own online school called the Unlock Academy. And our mission was to help 2,020 people learn how to code by 2020. Within the first year, we actually taught 4,500 people how to code. And to date, we taught over 8,000 people how to code. <laughs> Amazing. All right, we have to take a break. Yes. More with Antoine and JJ after this. We're back. We're back with software developers Antoine and JJ. So, uh, okay, so what's next now? What's the next thing you're doing? Yeah, so right now I'm on a mission to help 10,000 girls of color get into the world of tech and start their career path. Um, just for me, like, there's not much representation of people who look like me in the world in, of tech. And I know other little girls want to get into this world, but they don't see that they can do it. So I want to be that guide and help them do it and just start them off with their career. So we have, I actually have a scholarship fund as well that we're raising awareness to help these women and girls start their career and just let them know that they can do it. Good for you. Good Thank for you. you. <laughs> well... I have a friend, I have a lot of friends, but I have a friend who heard about this and he wants to help. So let's bring him out. Ludacris, come on out. Oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> What's up, man? Brother, man. How you doing? Great. Excellent. Wow. It's a surprise. <laughs> a very big surprise. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> so listen, I love you're not crying, are you? I'm not crying, not at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love what you guys are doing. Absolutely love what you're doing. I have family members that are incarcerated. All they ever ask for is pictures. You guys are connecting the world. I have my own foundation that helps facilitate dreams like young lady for, for young ladies like yourself. I came here personally because I want to donate ten thousand dollars to <laughs> That's so awesome. Much. Thank Absolutely. you so much. This wow. Is, this is for my foundation. What? Yes. What? Thank you. The Ludacris Foundation to you guys. Thank you. Continue striving. Continue doing everything you're doing. You are the future. 100%. Wow. Thank you. So cool. Cool. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right. You know, if Ludacris is going to donate $10,000, then I feel like I should donate $10,000. Yeah. So I, I will just do it. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what? Oh. Whoa. Okay. Right. I want to thank you, Jennifer.